what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel let's solve this math question which says find the value of x for which log x base 2 plus log x base 3 is equal to 1. now notice that the logs have different bases so our first step towards solving a question like this will be for us to move this to the right hand side and in order for me to do that i'm going to be subtracting log x base 3 from both sides so i have log x base 2 plus log x base 3 equal to 1 so i'll subtract log x base 3 from the left i'll also subtract log x base 3 from the right all right so let's subtract for subtracting i have this which is log x base 2 and then this and this cancels out and then what i have here is 1 so this is equal to 1 minus log x base 3 very good now our next step will be for us to change this to log and we know that a property of log redeem which says when i have log a base a this is equal to 1 that means as long as this number here and the base are the same we have one so what base are we interested in well i want to change this to log of base three so that means this one is same as log three base three so let's replace this here so we have log x base 2 to be equal to i'll be writing log 3 base 3 and then minus log x base 3 very good all right so our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm on the right hand side which says when i have for example log m minus log n so long as the bases are the same this is equal to log m over n so we're going to be applying this to what we have here so this becomes log x base 2 equal to this expression like this can be written as log base 3 and then this is 3 all over x very good very good so our next step will be for us to apply substitution so we can say let's what we have on the right hand side which is log 3 over x base 3 be equal to z and if we said what we have on the right hand side is equal to z it shows that this expression so we can say this implies that this expression which is log x base 2 will be equal to z as well right very good very good now let's take this one after the other so from the definition of logarithm which says the logarithm of a number is the power to which the base is raised to give that number so from here the base here is three the power is z and this gives the number which is three over x now we do the same thing to this so the base here is 2 the power is z and this is equal to the number which is x 
So our next step will be for us to multiply the two equations because I can call this equation one and I can call this equation two. Very good. So let's multiply. So this is three to the Z times two to the Z. This is equal to, this is three over X times X. Now notice that X can cancel out, leaving behind three. And then from the property of indices, so long as the exponents are the same, we can multiply the basis or we can group them together. So let's just group them. So this is three times two, which are the base, and then a common power of Z. So this is equal to three on the right hand side. And so three times two, that's six to the Z. This is equal to three. Very good. So I'm interested in looking for Z. And how do I do that? Since I have a base of six, that means I'm going to be taking the log base six of both sides. So I'll take the log base six of the left hand side. So I have log six to the Z base six. This is equal to log three base six. And from the property of logarithm, which says when I have log a to the n, this is equal to n log a. I'm going to be applying this to what I have here. That means this expression now becomes z log 6 b 6. And this is equal to what we have on the right, which is log 3 b 6. Now, from our previous page, we see that whenever the number and the base are the same, it is equivalent to 1. So this is z times 1 equal to log 3 b 6. z times 1 is actually z, and this is equal to log 3 b 6. And now recall from our previous slide that we said log x base 2 is equal to z. And from the definition of logarithm that x, which is the number, is equal to the base 2 raised to the power z, right? Very good. So substituting, we're going to have x to be equal to 2 raised to the z, which has a value of log 3 base 6. And this is our final solution for x. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.